In this video, I'm gonna show you a really nice and simple way to calculate the pH of a weak base solution by way of a worked example. So our worked example is gonna be, what is the approximate pH of a 0.15 molar solution of NH3 with a KB value that's given? Of course, you could look up that KB value. So we're gonna start by deriving a really nice formula for the concentration of the hydroxide ions that's gonna massively simplify doing the calculation. So we have the basic equation for the reaction that's going to go on between our base B, this is a weak base, and water, which is going to partially dissociate into BH plus plus OH minus. Now we can write a simple expression for our KB as shown. Now we can notice that we're going to have an equality between the BH plus and the OH minus because of a one-to-one -one relationship. So we can say that. And therefore, it's going to simplify to uh, the hydroxide ion concentration squared. Now, if we let the concentration of the solution be C, what we can say is that KB is actually going to become the concentration, so like this number here, minus whatever ends up dissociating. So that's going to be the decrease in the concentration. Now, we should realize that because this is a weak base, there isn't really going to be very many OH- produced. There's going to be very little hydroxide ions being produced because it's only partially dissociating. So it's reasonable to approximate that the concentration minus the hydroxide ion concentration is going to be pretty much the concentration of your uh, weak base to start with. So we're gonna say that this simplifies to roughly C. So we can replace that with our concentration. And so we've now got a nice simple expression for KB. We can rearrange this to get the OH minus concentration, the hydroxide ion concentration. And we get this really nice, really simple equation that your hydroxide ion con concentration is simply gonna be the square root of your KB times your concentration. You've got KB here, you've got concentration here. So the next step is gonna to be to calculate the hydroxide ion concentration, which is gonna be very simple. So we've got the equation. We just substitute in our KB, substitute in our concentration from here, and we end up finding the concentration of our hydroxide ions very simply. We are part way to doing the calculation of pH. We just need the formula, which is that pH is 14 plus the log of the hydroxide ion concentration. That could be derived very simply from your pOH plus pH equal 14 and your basic expression for pH. And all we need to do is take our previous answer and substitute in our hydroxide ion concentration, and we end up with the pH. So this is how you can do the calculation of the pH of a weak base really simply and really quickly with an answer that's actually very accurate. If you do the exact calculation, it comes out to virtually exactly the same number. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.